I'll be going over things that I missed, that need more clarification, or that any of you pointed out from my bollards guide. In the original video, I said that the Germany and Luxembourg bollard is the same. However, they actually do have a difference if you really zoom into it. As you can see, the Luxembourg bollard has three bolts on the reflector, while the German one only has two bolts. Also in Germany, you can sometimes see bollards with the blue light on their side. And thank you to Abpeg5423 for pointing this out. North Macedonia has another unique bollard, consisting of a very small red reflector and two whiny dots above and below it. And apparently there are only two or three roads with these in the entire country, so learning where they are could be a good idea. While talking about the Scottish bollard, I should have pointed out that they are only most commonly found there. However, you can still find them elsewhere as well. Thank you to Explorer Nate for the comment. The Swiss bollard is almost identical to the German one. However, I didn't mention this in the original video because all Swiss coverage is in low cam anyway. But you may still be able to use this in specific use cases like a hard NMPZ round or no car games. The Netherlands bollard escaped the script somehow, but like Belgium, it's a simple small white post with a red reflector though. So a very similar style to the Turkish and Romanian bollard. And I've also seen them sometimes use a really long reflector. Thank you to Jelly1310 for the comment. Ukraine has bollards that are sometimes similar to the Serbian ones, in that the reflector is slightly off center. Also, in the southwestern area of the country, you can sometimes see Polish bollards, the ones with the big red stripe around it. Australia has a decent amount of bollard meta. For example, here in Western Australia, bollards are sometimes painted brown at the bottom, often with a circular reflector. But be careful because they can still be painted in other states, but it won't be anywhere near as noticeable. They also have a black and white striped post, which may or may not have a reflector. Short reflectors should not be your main clue when guessing in Australia, but they seem to be the most common in Queensland and South Australia. They can be seen in every state. Just like the short reflectors, the circular reflector, without the post being painted brown, is far from the most trustworthy clue. However, it may be an indicator that you're in Victoria, but really make sure you can't find any other clues first. And we also have a bollard with a black stripe under the reflector, which is mostly found in Tasmania. And they sometimes use a blue bollard. Kyrgyzstan is another one of those countries where the bollard is only useful if you can't see the car, but they use white stones with a black painted stripe. The Japanese bollard, just like Switzerland, is only really useful if you can't tell the coverage is a low cam but they use a short white post with a yellow or orange circle on both sides. It's a little bit of a stretch to call these bollards, but Bhutan always likes using these on the side of the road next to cliffs. Bangladesh uses thick, cylindrical or rectangular bollards with white and red stripes. Knowing the Qatar bollard is far more useful for trivia more than actual in-game practicality, but they use a very tall and paper-thin European-style bollard. But I really want to reaffirm that I'm just going to be going over everything I can for completionist purposes, rather than actual usefulness in-game. But you never know, somebody may find this one useful. We have a few extra things in South America, and I don't know how common these ones are, but the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil uses these bollards with a yellow top. But Brazil is one of those countries that just doesn't really use bollards. Again, Uruguay is another one of those countries which barely uses bollards. They look a little bit like one of the variants of the Belgian bollard. 
And thank you to Seb Tutubo for these two. Continuing the theme of South America, Chilean bollards are rare, but are easy to remember because they use yellow reflectors just like Spain and their guardrails. And for Bolivia, I just wanted to point out that they use a thin bollard similar to the Ecuadorian or Peruvian style. The Rwandan bollard didn't exist yet when I started making the original video, but they use a bollard similar to the French one, which you will mostly see in the southwestern part of the coverage. The Canary Islands use a bollard with square reflectors, but only on the eastern islands, and the regular Spanish bollard is still used everywhere. This bollard is also used in these two provinces on the mainland. And that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Any form of support is appreciated. I have a Twitch and Twitter in the description if you're interested. And I'll see you next time.